Hello everyone, my name is Katarina from Garden Design Tools. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the 3D grass, uh, one of the most exciting new elements in the Lumion version 9. Um, there is uh, 14 3D grass materials, okay? So I just wanted to compare a little bit what uh, we had available before in uh, 8.5 or um, other versions of Lumion. Um, I don't think we had actually 3D blade grass uh, as a landscape material before the version 8. Um, so this is what I did before as a, a kind of shortcut to have the to be able to have the the blade the grass blade. Um, I what I did is to the surface I had the material in custom as a landscape, okay, and when we we would go to uh, landscape. In here, in landscape, in the grass, uh, landscape grass, normally is off, you'll switch it on, and then you can play around with the grass size, and you can add some clovers, but it will be uh, definitely a, a wilder look, but it was something that I would like to do just to give a more naturalistic feel. But for ornamental uh, areas of grass, I'll have to use the, tr uh, normally I would use the 2D okay something like this okay like you see here a 2d um, material that you have available in lumion library in nature to the uh, 2d grass and you have here all these materials available but now what you can do is you have this 3d grass okay and you have 14 textures checkerboard grass, circular grass, okay, clean cut, farm grass, row grass, wild grass, okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna add the wild grass to my wild areas and we're gonna choose a more ornamental ornamental grass to the the run around the swimming pool maybe um, maybe this is a bit too wild maybe this one if you double click you still have a lot of settings and um, like uh, size for example and the length as well so size increases the overall blade in wide and uh, and uh, wider and and length as well and length only length okay so if you if you really if you really pay close attention when you when you doing the different um, for example grass size is the overall size of the everything okay and length is just the length of the blade okay but definitely something you can play around with um but in here I'm gonna add some uh, more ornamental um, grass, something like um, clean cut, maybe, but with the uh, row grass, maybe. Or checkerboard, I really like checkerboard. It's not very usual here in Portugal, but the circular grass is pretty cool as well. Yeah. I'm going to do a few uh, rendered images after to show you because a lot of this, the quality of materials inside Lumion, a lot of them you can only see the real effect uh, once the, the images are rendered in a pretty good quality, at least print. You know, then is when you can see really the quality of the materials. Of course, desktop is the ones I do for, for example, to show clients to just discuss because it's much quicker. If I'm sharing this as in a Dropbox uh, folder, it's quicker for them to, to download, etc. But um, uh, in terms of you checking out the the quality of the of the the material uh, print. Uh, the the print setting is definitely the one I suggest. Another thing I wanted to to just quickly curl. <laughs> this is pretty cool. 
Mm. Roughness, not so rough. Grass cut. You can see when the grass has been cut. That's that's a really nice setting. That changes completely the, the look of the grass, huh? When the blade's cut. When I'm talking about all these materials and uh, new uh, items, new elements uh, in Lumion, I'm always talking about the pro version, okay? So if you want to invest in the program, I really suggest you invest in the pro version uh, because you're going to be a, a bit frustrated if you don't. If you invest in the program but you in, in just a normal version, it's it's very frustrating because a lot of the new materials and library objects, you know, uh, it's I don't know the numbers exactly, but it's it's maybe a quarter of what of the library materials inside the, the pro version. Okay, um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few blog posts in terms of the the new items they have, uh, but I'm gonna concentrate of course in what's important for garden designers and landscape architects. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit. Okay, we we saw that there's 14 uh, 3D grass materials. There's 88 new high definition materials, okay? A lot of, I think most of them are from Polygon, that's amazing quality. Um, and they say, Lumion team said they, had si they have 634 new models, okay, in the library. That's quite a lot. And 91 new trees, okay, but the trees, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm still gonna have to go one by one to check because it can be three variations and not exactly new trees, okay? So it can be the same models that they were before, but in, in terms of variations. And there is five outdoor, outdoor objects, new outdoor objects as well. Um, the outdoor objects for me inside Lumion, like furniture and things like this are not so important to be honest, because one, they very easy identifiable as um, as Lumion objects for people who know the program. So when you're using it as a professional in one of your garden uh, design projects, etc., um, I, I, I don't I, I don't particularly like because anyone can see straight away. So I prefer to the, go to the three D warehouse and find some real furniture from Ketal, from Dedon or whatever manufacturer you're using and use them in my projects, okay? Because they're still objects anyway, and you can work uh, materials inside Lumion as well. So um, the, the outdoor objects for me are not really important, things like pergolas and all this stuff. 3D Warehouse is an amazing place to get them. Anyway, in this video, I just wanted to concentrate to show you a bit the possibilities of the grass. So it looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. Um, and I'm going to be exploring a little bit in the blog post. I'm going to have images, okay, for you to check it out, uh, the new uh, grass materials. Um, so I'm going to do in the ornamental area uh, the 14 types of grass. So you can check it out in a way that you be able to see it properly. Maybe an aerial view or something like this. And a few of the blades as well. But yeah, thank you for for uh, for watching. Don't forget, um, please uh, subscribe the. Um, don't forget to check out the courses, of course. But uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you didn't already. Um, so we, I'm gonna be posting there the the videos. Okay, uh, so I have one already talking about skylight um, two, and I did some comparison images, and I. I, I added uh, the blog post as well and I'm gonna add a blog post with all the the new items with all the modifications in this version okay um, but always concentrating in the, the importance for garden design and landscape architects okay so things like for example uh, the fur material it could be useful for you if you want to do like for example um, outdoor carpet and you want to use it, the fur as well because the fur materials, you can actually change the, the texture, the look of the material, and, and, but you have the fur in, anyway. So if you think something, you can reuse that in, in your projects. But there is a lot of new materials for, for indoor and objects for indoor. I'm not going to concentrate so much in that ones. I'm going to concentrate in the things we're going to use 
uh, as a garden designer and landscape architect. Okay, see you guys. See you next time.